Hello everyone, we are back again on your favorite learning platform, Learn Forward by Fitaka. Today we are going to study chapter number 12, that is the first cities. So let's get started. Read the passage below and answer the question that follows. The road is on the Indian subcontinent, where than around 2300 BC, since the beginning of the Indus Valley civilization, inhabitants of the Indus Valley, then Harappan spread led to the Greek and Mojolodi, and the Greek copper, bronze, lead, and tin. They led to urban life and lived in well planned cities, which dated about 2700 years ago. So let's understand about these objects. What marked the beginning of these objects? Of the Indian subcontinent when they were coming. So the beginning of the Bronze Age began in 3300 BCE with the beginning of Indus Valley civilization. Identify the inhabitants of the Indus Valley during the Bronze Age and mention the material that the city is in in a very metallurgical technique. The inhabitants were the Harappan and they used and uh, they used metallurgy and took the copper, bronze, lead, and gold. Approximately how long did the well plan to be from here up in the Indus Valley system developed and what they are derived the urban life It developed in about 4700 years ago and they led a very nice life with well plan to be. So let's dive into the details of how did it happen. So starting from the Stone Age, then the Bronze Age, and how did we actually you know, uh, made changes in the Harappan system. So as we read in the previous chapter, early humans gradually evolved from hunter gatherers as the hunters and started living up to a settlement. And the agriculture was an accident, right? So accidentally they invented that this is how you know plants are grown and it shifted the life from hunter gatherers to settlement. People no longer have to spend the whole day hunting and gathering food, but better methods of agriculture such as food were created. So people would now devote more time for acting with labor. पहले खाना अरेंज करना पड़ता था अब सेटल लाइफ भी तो ज्यादा टाइम लेजर और सीजन के लिए हो रहा था इसी फेज में राइटिंग को इन्वेंट किया गया था आर्ट लॉरे ट्रेड यू एंड रेडियो इन्वेंशन एंड डिस्कवरी को हमने विद चेंज ह्यूमन एक्सिस्टेंस कंप्लीट बट दिस डेवलपमेंट ऑफ टाउन कल्चर इज जनरली व्हाट इज सीन इन द बिगनिंग ऑफ द सेंचुरी सो टाउन कल्चर पर आपको दिखता है कि कहां दिखता है एंड द सिविलाइजेशन स्टार्टेड बिग सिविलाइजेशन क्या होता है लेट्स लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट Human lived for hundreds of thousands of years before civilization in the stone. Then was the dawn of civilization the dawn of the dawn of the dawn of the dawn of the It was a new way of life. But civilization is an advanced type. Civilization is also it is an advanced type. And agriculture, it has agriculture, it has division of labor, it has multiple cities, it has organization, it has science and technology, or it has language and some form of government. So what is the civilization you need to remember? It may be asked the question later. What is a civilization? It is an advanced society with agriculture, with division of labor, with cities, with organized food, organized religion, organized science and technology, and they are also had a written language along with a proper form of government. Now, let's study about the Indus Valley civilization. Something very interesting and very important. You will love to study about all these societies. This civilization developed in India about how many years ago? 4700 years ago. It it is it known as Indus Valley Civilization. It developed around Indus River. So why it is called Indus Valley Civilization? Because the Indus River to pass it. It is contemporary of three other gods, a civilization in the Mediterranean, a Sumerian in the Bank of Mishra, and the Indus River. It is still in the Nile River Valley and Chinese on the Hormangu River. These civilizations are called bronze age civilizations because the technology of making bronze items is impossible to create a place. इस सिविलाइजेशन को हम ब्रॉन्ज़ सिविलाइजेशन से देखें, बिकॉज़ इस टाइम पे कौन सा टूल यूज़ हुआ था ब्रॉन्ज़ दिखने वाला था, जिसका भी इसका नाम है हरप्पा सिविलाइजेशन, बिकॉज़ सबसे पहले साइड जो एक्सकवेट हुई थी वो हरप्पा है, यहाँ पे जो पैटर्न है लेकिन का इट इस ना इट वाज टेन डिस्कवर the civilization started roughly between 2500 to 1500 BCE, that is around 2500 to 4500 years ago. At some places, it extends beyond this time period also. Now, where did it all flourish? We just have a Harappan civilization. We have a flourish. This civilization stepped eastward from the modern day border of Iran. We have a Iran border. The area is beyond Delhi. Southward, we have a flourish. We have a flourish. We have a flourish. And more than 1400 in the civilization sites have been discovered. 
इतनी साइज इसका अगर मैं चौदह सौ से ज़्यादा और तीन मोर इम्पोर्टेंट मतलब अंडर कम कौन कौन सी साइज विच कवर इन दिन पेट के लिए दिन मेहन जुदारो हजाप्पा मेहरगर जो अभी पाकिस्तान में है और मेहन जुदारो हरप्पा मेहरगर धोलावीरा सिस्कोदादा रंगपुर लोथल जो कि गुजरात में काफीगढ़ी जनावली हरियाणा में रोपर पंजाब में और कालीगढ़ में राजस्थान में आलमगढ़पुर और गुलाबपुर जो है उत्तर प्रदेश तो ये सारी साइट ये जो है ये लेवल में आते तो वो बढ़ सकते हैं। 
roughly that that is in 2500 to 1500 rupees which is about 6500 to 5500 rupees 4500 rupees now this uh, this uh, this civilization set is from modern day borders iran to asia from the south it stretches up to the darbar river and 1400 civilization sites happen in the middle and if you talk of the major sites they are mostly dar and harappa mainly the uh, ladakh and all these sites which are mentioned and if we talk of this which has been a great insight on the Indus Valley city. Okay, so something I want to talk about is the big city. Uh, we have to know the big answer is big. How did the town planning look for a big city structure this city? The town planning was done in a very appropriate manner because the town was then in the town of Arab and Dutch. We had the cedar days and we had the lower houses, right? Uh, so, cedar days were the mounted areas which were based on which uh, area is the elevation and they in cedar days we used to see that the priests and the merchants and the rich merchants used to live. But if you talk of the lower uh, towns, the lower towns were decided by the local people. They were not that elevated, but they were not the same size. Then, why was the great part a mosque for the people? It was a mosque for the people because it was meant, it was meant for religious purpose. It is a great architectural uh, uh, piece which was made with brick on both the sides. They had steps on either the side, and the upper part was covered with a natural wooden part. When we talk about the life of Harappan children, the Harappan children lived life very nicely because now life was settled. They had, uh, had the culture which was actually in flourishing over time there. And the life was divided. If we talk of the life of Harappan uh, children, you know, they, the people uh, had a very different life. They were divided into two parts. Life. One was containing the trees and the rich merchant. The second part was uh, and they used to be very seated in. The second plan was the basic craftsmen and the artisan, and the third part was the laborers and the normal basic workers. Right? Then how did Harappan civilization came to an end? The talk of the Harappan civilization which came to an end because there may be a lot of work, uh, natural disasters like tsunami, earthquake, and uh, floods. Right? Then uh, it, it also came to an end because the, there was a lot of good uh, overutilization of land because of the overutilization of the land. The agriculture you know, must have decayed, and then they have obtained the forestation deforestation. People you know, shifted from this uh, one place to the other. Along with that, if you see, they have been even more, you know, and now the population is great. You can see the size and see what they are doing. So, one was that it had natural disaster, then it was increasing population because of the great deforestation, the climate and agriculture, and ecological change, the environment, so the climate change because of this, where they were the same amount, the mountain factors were changing temperature. People have to definitely move to the next place so that they can settle. And the next question is about Vela. Vela, if we talk about what is the town of Vela, Vela and Gujar. So in the middle of Vela and Gujar, it is the first or village in Rajasthan. And the next study was it to be written here. We have to mention that Vela, Vela and Gujar is the region of the native site of India's own civilization. It was basically a site which is different from Gujar. Uh, because it has situated in the design of the lower town. Over there, we have just a CTP and a CTP on the lower town. Here, Bola one was different because it has situated in the design of the lower town. We have seen a lot of graves also here. So, graves uh, has a lot of excavated graves and they just contain water and breathing. Plus, we have the Harappan Life Range, which was found on the So, this is very special about Bola. So, all the so this is all about the chapter in which we can delve into the characteristics of the three town planning, the life equation, and what are the archaeological excavation which talks about the rich culture of all this. I hope you enjoy the session. Thank you.